Recently, Bridgeland Tech had a career fair for middle and high school kids. Kids from all around were there. There was free food, free bling, neat things to do. The kids loved it. An IT exhibit used the OIP monitor to show the network traffic of an open wireless network. When the kids connected to that Wi-Fi, they could see their wireless traffic. Many kids did things on their devices just to watch the network traffic. One of the kids' phones had a surveillance tracker. Everything he did caused a burst of traffic to a remote IP. When he scrolled a screen, there was a burst of traffic to that IP. When he typed a character, there was a burst of traffic to that IP. When he opened up settings, there was a burst of traffic to that IP. When he examined the list of installed apps, there was a burst of traffic to that IP. The tracker monitored everything he did. The poor kid was shocked when he realized what was going on. His face turned pale. He could not talk. His friends all took a step back and stared at him like he was contagious. I tried to make it better. <laughs> I said, if he's being monitored by a government, they don't really care what he's doing. But nobody seemed reassured. I kept on babbling on and on about types of remote access Trojan and the rise of the surveillance state. Eventually I was stopped by the intense look of horror and betrayal on the kid's face. You could not have hurt him more by stabbing him in the back with a knife. No amount of glib et tu brute was going to make it better. His world had just become a dark, treacherous place. Somebody that he trusted did not trust him. And by placing the tracker on him in secret, they demonstrated that they were not worthy of his trust. He had no way of knowing who it was. He probably suspected everybody. I have no idea what I could say to restore the possibility of love and trust to that kid.